Adam, what do you got on Brady's future? Jeff, this is breaking and coming in as we speak, but we are being told that Tom Brady, barring anything unforeseen, is expected to be a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. Now, there is no signing plan right now, no press conference plan. A lot of people have been wondering if this would come up on the first day of the league year. What we do know is that Tom Brady is expected to be in Tampa with the Buccaneers. And it looks like that decision will come down at some point this week, whenever it may be. But it has been trending this way throughout the course of the day. The other teams that were in it recognized that they faced long obstacles in getting a deal done with Tom Brady. And so look right now, it is looking like Tom Brady is going to wind up as a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. Wrap your mind around that one, Kevin and Jeff. <laughs> Tom Brady is a Buccaneer, but it looks like that is what's happening. Jeff, why don't you jump in because you've been all over this story as well alongside Adam. How did this come together, especially with the role of Bruce Arians? Well, I want to provide some context here. Going back to mid-February, actually, the Tampa Bay Bucks were lurking in the background, recognizing through back channels that maybe Tom Brady was more serious about free agency than they initially anticipated. A lot of teams obviously overlooking the fact that Tom Brady might really be willing to leave the Patriots. When they recognized that, they looked at their own team and recognized all of the pieces that Brady would potentially be looking for and that's what got us to this week when all of a sudden that marriage starts to come together and we can point toward four things here that Brady was in fact looking for a collaborative coach he got it in Bruce Arians a roster maybe not Super Bowl bound right well that could change now but one that wasn't necessarily on the cusp of being protected that way look this is a deep roster that's very good Brady 